beautiful people of the world. If my voice sounds weird or if it sounds different, actually, I'm sick. Anyway, it's June 19, 2017, and it's a Monday, so, um, Monday. So, my previous school just started classes today. As a senior high school student, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that the new senior high school students are freaking out and are hiding their anxiety inside. <laughs> Here's just some things I learned during grade 11 and probably it could also be used as tips for the senior high school the new senior high <laughs> the new senior high school students um so okay i know it's kind of late that i'm doing this now but it's good for good um the first thing i'm going to tell you is that everyone's nervous on the first day um, everyone's freaking out inside and everyone's feeling kind of um, out of place and shy well it's because um, you're all new you're all you're all there you're all there mixed together and there are some old students there are new students a lot of new students and that also makes the old students even more nervous so it's just kind of fair and what I'm gonna tell you is that it won't hurt if you fake it till you make it like just introduce yourself with with enthusiasm or just get the introduction over with because honestly you can't run away from it and even if you go absent in the first week if it's orientation week you'll just have a harder time the next week because then everyone's gonna know each other and we don't know anyone <laughs> so yeah you will feel much better after the first introduction when you say your name and all that um on the first day or on, in the first week as a filipino kid magpabibohan agad kasi at that even though even though you're like nervous inside like me i'm always anxious i try to i try to just just go for it even if that's not my thing because then it will be more comfortable in a shorter amount of time with them if that makes sense next thing is after the introduction don't expect everyone to be your friend instantly when you're an old student it's so hard when you look around there are all these new faces that you don't know but you're in your old school and it kind of doesn't make sense because it makes you feel like you're a transferee and to the new students well you're in a new school so that's that's nerve-wracking but yeah after the introduction not everyone's gonna be not everyone's gonna instantly be your friend because there are people you'll instantly click with other people you you'll shy away from <sighs> I'm not getting this point across. Just don't expect everyone to be your friend instantly because um, friendships, friendships, um, I don't know, friendships take time to actually build. Like a strong foundation is so hard to build in a friendship. So just don't expect everyone to be your best friend in, on the first day. Because that's just not how it works, and that's okay. Nothing's wrong with you. Okay, if you're an anyway, if you're an old student, help the trans trans help the <laughs> help the transferees out, help the new students out, show them around, show them the library, the canteen, the cafeteria, um, show them show them the computer lab just show them around show them the principal's office everything that they might need especially that they're new so they're, they're like fixing they're still fixing stuff so it will really help them and it will make them more well it will make them feel more welcome in your school you'd gain a new friend 
and you'd be helping someone out and they'd get they'd gain a new friend if your school has a page a facebook page they, and if you're in a small school they'll release like a the list of sectioning and there will be a list of names then you'll see your um, classmates um, this this sounds kind of creepy and stalkerish but it helps to um, look them up on Facebook it will help you navigate on the first day you're not blindly expecting for people you're just you you know some of them and something about them and I swear that helps and I did that and it helped me because I was like oh I saw him on Facebook I think it just calms you down to know that to know something about the the new people you're gonna meet but like don't stalk until 2012 that's that's weird next please buy your notebooks if you haven't bought if you have if you haven't bought if you haven't bought your notebooks yet buy them they're essential it's important to write lots of notes especially when you're in class it will really help you and not all not all teachers will allow you to um, take a picture of the PowerPoint or or have a copy of the PowerPoint because some of them want you to write. And it honestly helps because it, it will help you retain um, the stuff you're learning. So, yep. Buy notebooks. And also, if you're a big fan of notebooks, then buy notebooks that you love and you think are cute because that will inspire you more to write. Don't just rely on PowerPoints. It's kind of difficult to study from just PowerPoints. I think you get my point that you just you think you're flipping through the slides and then when you're reviewing you're just I don't remember any of this and I don't understand any of this. When did we discuss this? What what are other things that the teacher mentioned that's not in the PowerPoint because usually PowerPoints are just keywords so if you rely on them sometimes it can get confusing um, and if there's no time there's no time to jot down notes while in class while reviewing write it down in your notebook so it will still help you help you um, retain information next related to this is jotting down notes while in class really helps because when when you're when you're actually there in your classroom and the teacher is discussing something in front of you and they they explain it in their own words and they they tell their own thoughts about it I think it helps because um, when you're have you when you're gonna have a quiz or like an exam about it they're gonna use their thoughts the way they think and the way they taught it that, that's what they're gonna use next is maximize your time I learned this the hard way because I like procrastinating I mean I don't like it but I tend to do this a lot um, one time during my 21st century literature I had one performance task that actually is equal to three projects because it's three different parts of one performance task it's like one is a reflection and one is a like an analysis and one is like an adaptation of of a book wait no it's it's not a book it's either a poem or a short story um so the 21st our, our 21st century literature had a bargain with us that if we bought one book from the book fair, then we're just gonna we're just gonna do one of those. But I didn't like any of any book in the book fair, and I think it would be a waste of money to buy a book that I don't really like. So I said, nah. So I ended up having to do all three. But the poem given to me was really hard to understand. I mean, it's 21st century literature. I don't know, but 
poetry sometimes it's it's just so hard to understand it's so hard to interpret so I I took my time for granted and I said I'll do it tomorrow 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 until I understand but I tried so hard really I tried so hard to understand it but I just couldn't and I I had to ask help from my grandmother because she's good at interp interpreting poems she called me and then she was like I think this is what it, it means and all that stuff and I said I said thank you and that was that was the the night before I had to pass it and I thought yeah I I can do this I'll do it until 12 12 midnight and then I'll go to sleep for like five hours, wake up at five and then prepare, go go to school at six and then be there by 6.30 and then I have 30, 30 more minutes to sleep um, inside the room or in the corridor. <laughs> yep. yep, I sleep in the corridor sometimes. Anyway, so I had to do, to do all these three things. And then I I overestimated my my capability to do all these things, and it was so hard to analyze. And it took more than an hour, more than an hour until until I was still awake at 3 a.m. And I have never pulled an all-nighter. I have never experienced it. So I. I, my mom woke up at 4 to prepare so at 4.30 and she was like, why are you still awake? And I was almost crying because I was still producing my video adaptation and I was like, what am I going to do? I'm still not finished so I have to stay awake and then I had to go to school and people were telling me, oh my god, you, 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 look, you look so tired, are you okay? And I was like, don't talk to me because... I have had no sleep last night, uh, there's no borderline of day and night f for me, please stop, stop talking to me, and I slept in the, in the armchair. I was just so mad at myself because I let it get to that point. This happened a lot of times when we had to pass something for Fili our Filipino research and our practical research, so just maximize your time, what I mean. Is if you could, if you can go to the library in your school, then go and do your research there, um, write stuff there, just so you can start something, and then you're not gonna you're not gonna waste your time. That really helps, like um, using your vacant time in school to do stuff, so that um, when you get home, you don't have to pull an all nighter like me. Next, compete with yourself. Um, senior high is I don't I don't know if it's just me, but it's just so different from junior high school that I don't when I was in junior high school even though I don't admit it of course I I'm I'm an honor student so I had to compete with with all the with all the smart kids in class I'm not bragging I'm just telling like my experience and I had to compete with everyone in the class and it's just it it's so hard because you, you can't really gauge um, the capability of other people and match it with yours or just be better. I'm not sure if this is just me, but I don't feel the need to compete with others as much anymore. Of course, it still comes to me because I'm an anxious person and I, I like pleasing everybody. Um, that sounds so bad, but yeah, that's how I feel. What I always repeat even though it makes me really anxious is that um, you don't have to compete with other people because they're different from them and that um, doing better than yourself being a better version of yourself every day that that's all that matters doing everything with your whole heart that's all that's ever gonna gonna amount to something that's one of the greatest realizations I had this senior high school that it's not all about grades because this whole time when I was in junior high school and grade school, I was, it was all about grades and I'm not gonna lie to you, I cried because of, I cried a lot of times 
because of my grades. So. Next is choose good research partners and choose a doable research topic. I'm so serious about this because I experienced not having the best roommates. I mean, I had good roommates, but not all of them. So it was difficult for me to do another person's job. I had so many breakdowns because of this. So choose your research partners wisely and choose a doable topic. What I mean about this doable topic is that you have to consider the amount of time and your resources because if not, then you're not going to get much information. And I also experienced this, so please just, um, I'm not saying do something easy, but do something that you can actually complete in the amount of time you're given, especially that it's not just research that we're doing in school, there's so many more projects. Last but not least, don't belittle other strands and tracks. Um, every strand in every strand is equally difficult and I think every strand can be um, as fun as the other strands and I have also experienced discrimination because I'm a I'm a humanities and social sciences um, student I'm in that strand in the academic track and um, people will act people usually ask me why I chose Hume's, I chose humanities because I could be in the, in the STEM, in the, in the strand STEM, and that I could do it, and that it's, it's, I'm capable of doing it. And it's not really about my capability of doing something, or it's not about how intelligent I am, it's just about where my passion lies, and my passion lies in the humanities, and I think it's so important to consider your passion even before you um, you choose a strand. Grown ups usually focus on on what job there is money, and I think yes, f financial stability is important because it feeds us, it clothes us, it it gives us shelter and all that. We pay bills from it, but I don't think are you really living? If that's what. That's what you. If that's all that matters to you. I just. I think that it matters that you like the strand you're in and the track you're in, because. In the end, if you like your strand or track, you're gonna make it work, and it's not about what makes more money. It's about you and your passion and your drive to. Um, succeed with, with what you want. Don't belittle other strands because everyone's struggling. Senior high is it's just the start of senior high school. I'm in the first batch, so I know that it's so hard to adjust to senior high school. And I don't know. It's just so different from everything I have experienced in school. I'm not sure if this is what others think. But senior high school is just, there's a lot of work, so yeah, I guess that's it. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this, uh, click the thumbs up if you want. And if you like my content, if you like what I'm posting, then su subscribe to me. If you want to talk to me, you can message me on Twitter, on Facebook. The links are down below. You can message me on Instagram you can comment down below and if you have you have questions for me just tweet me or comment also down below so i and also if you have suggestions i would appreciate it that's all thank you for watching and thank you for listening to me and watching me so bye oh and also stay um I don't have a catchphrase in the end yet, so I'd go with stay sh I'd go with keep shining. <laughs> Bye, keep sh keep keep shining. I don't know, just go go have fun, live your life. Bye.